Hello again, I am Blunty, and amongst my plans for when the Nintendo Switch launches in a few days is to do some Twitch streams, of course. Starting from unpacking and setting up in my first play sessions immediately after I get back to the lair from the midnight launch, and I will of course be playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but with preview coverage of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild being fairly consistent in the message that this new Zelda game can be pretty unforgiving, the phrase, you're gonna die a lot, appearing in almost every preview article and video I've seen so far, I thought it might be fun to add a death counter to my stream overlay for when I'm playing Zelda. And because I suspect I'm not alone in thinking this is a fun idea, I'm making this video so I've got somewhere to point to when people inevitably ask me on my stream how I'm doing the death counter. Because the same thing happens when I do an encounter counter in my Pokemon Shiny Hunt streams. To track how many Link corpses I'll be leaving scattered around Hyrule, I'm using a nice little free app made by a dude called Corey Friedman, a community member over at the OBS Project site. And it is much better and easier than the way I used to do this kind of thing. It's nice, small, straightforward, easy to use. You can set up your own hotkeys for increasing, decreasing, or indeed resetting the counter. And you can even set up multiple files so you can use it with multiple games without disrupting the counts between them or between sessions. For example, like I said, I'll be using this as a death counter in Zelda, but also I'll be switching over to using it as my encounter counter for when I'm shiny hunting in Pokemon. It saves counts out to a text file. You can set this to be called whatever and be saved to wherever you like. And this means if something crashes or you accidentally close the app or something silly, you don't lose your count. It also makes it super easy to integrate the output into streaming software like OBS, which of course can dynamically read data direct from text files and display it in your choice of font, position and size. So once you've done the basic setup in my account, just go to your scene in OBS or whatever you're using, add a new text item, select the text file from where you've asked my account to save it, choose your other display options, and that's it, you're done. From here on in, whenever you hit the hotkey you've set up to alter your account, OBS will almost immediately detect the change in the text file and update itself. It's pretty damn easy, right? So now I'm all set. I've got a brand new custom overlay, which I'm not showing you here yet. I want to save that for a surprise for the stream. And like I said, the new Zelda is apparently a little bit unforgiving. And given that in these kinds of action adventure games, I have a predilection for sometimes and often being a bit reckless, a bit bold, a bit run and gun, kind of Leroy Jenkins-ing type of player. And the fact that I kind of suck at stealth. I'm expecting my death counter will be ticking along at an almost Keith Moonian pace. That reference, by the way, for you millennials who have no idea that music used to be good and played by actual musicians instead of self-obsessed twats, Keith Moon was a drummer. Oh, and drummers, by the way, they're, they're how the bangy-bangy noises in music were made back when it took actual talent and skill, you know, before the rise of the machines. What the fuck was I talking about again? <laughs> what a weird tangent. Keith Moon references in a video about death counters on OBS. Weird. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.